Hey, what's going on everybody? My name's A Far Cry Away, and today we've got another What We Were Up To update from uh, Tripwire Interactive regarding Killing Floor 2. This one's called Lighting Up the Night. If it moves, burn it. If it's burning and it still moves, let it burn. If the firebug had a motto, this would most likely be it. We've been hard at work bringing the firebug perk tree online, and I want to share that progress with the community. I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot of all of the uh, tier specific things they're adding for the firebug perk just so you guys can see it yourselves because if I tried to read it it would come out really weird trust me I've already done one take and it sounded very strange um, so yeah you get to see here all the different tiers and what each tier of perk brings for you as an option so for example like tier one you can have where your weapons start fully loaded with ammo um, when you purchase your weapons from the trader, or you can have Molotovs um, that have a flare component that lingers longer to light the environment. So basically, it would help your team see better in a dark environment when you throw a Molotov. So that's just like your tier one. So we can go ahead and look down the tiers. Um, of course, you know, tier five is going to be your Z time perks, but these are kind of interesting. One is that any Z that dies from fire weapons in Z time will explode into a fireball, setting anything in the explosion on fire. And the second one says firebug weapons will uh, fire at close to real time in Z time. And that's similar to some of the other Z time perks for some of the other classes. They say, as a firebug, levels up also include stats, and they increase their passive bonuses. So it's firebug weapon damage, firebug weapon reload speed, fire, uh, fire resistance, personal fire resistance, and starting ammo amount. So those are just a few of the passive buffs you'll get as your you know tier levels up in the firebug perk. What's also interesting about the firebug perk is that you're not immune to fire damage. So the um, husk will still be a threat to you, not as much of a threat granted, but they'll still be a threat, and your own weapons will be a threat. And the last weapon joining the arsenal for the firebug is the microwave gun. This is Horzine's prototype that has only reached the hands of those fighting the Zed hordes, and it is being used as a field test. So actually, as you guys can see here, we have a PNG image of the microwave gun. Very interesting stuff. Can't wait to get my hands on that one. They say, as an added bonus, someone was recently discovered in a player's recent romp through Volter Manor. Anton Strasser, soldier of the German Wehrmacht. Strasser was wounded in action in Goomrak Gum and evacuated, but then went missing and was presumed AWOL. Until now, an unwitting test subject for Han's cryogenic test, Strasser is now awake and seeking his revenge. Owners of Red Orchestra 2 and Rising Storm will find Anton available to select as a character when this update goes live. And we have a screenshot of the German soldier himself. And this is pretty cool because I'm an owner of Red Orchestra 2, so that means I will have Anton as a playable character. I will most definitely be playing as him. Um, you know, he's a pretty basic looking character, but nonetheless pretty cool as a free character. No complaints. And they say, before I present the dev day's chart for the week, I would like to let everyone know about a change on this chart versus previous charts. In previous charts, in previous charts, excuse me, gosh, cannot say that word. We would update the previous week numbers to include changes from Friday up and down at the end of the day. This week, we have not done so in hopes of causing less confusion. And then they show their new developer day's update. And that is the entire update this time from uh, from Tripwire on the lighting up the night, what we were up to update, and uh, it's all about the firebug and Anton and the microwave gun. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, feel free to subscribe for more Killing Floor. Uh, I cannot say anything today, guys. I am so sorry. This is the most botched recording I've ever done in my life. If you liked what you saw, like it, and if you want more Killing Floor 2, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it because I like to make these videos whenever the updates go live as soon as possible for you guys, regardless of situations. So, thank you guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.